You know, Brona is Irish for sad. <laughs> Definitely lived up to that name. I was an only child, or am. I'm not dead. Just needed a change, I think. Found a quiet village no one looks for. All sounds very romantic, I know. Except everyone here is a robot and I can see the prison from my kitchen window. Everyone whispers or keeps to themselves in Boulaville. It's quiet. They're a bit odd. I like it. Makes me feel a bit less odd. And the loud ones, the ones I can hear, are faceless. Roaring in the mornings from the other side of a 50 foot wall. That's why I stayed. It's easy to blend in if you're a bit odd. And you don't have to pretend to like your neighbors. I'm odd. I notice things, patterns, occurrences. I have this routine. It's basically just everyone I see on a Thursday. First it's me. Then there's a stranger. Then there's me again. Then there's the coffee girl. And then there's you. What's your routine for? It's not for anything. I just notice it. Why do you notice it? I don't know. It's just there. It happens the same all the time, the same way. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe I look for it. Why do you look for it? To make sure it's not gone. Why would it go? I'm a control freak, aren't I? No, I don't, I don't think so. What, do you? Do you watch The Simpsons? Yes. Do you know that episode where Bart keeps thinking he sees Sideshow Bob everywhere, even though he's dead? And everyone keeps telling him it's just his grief. I think I get that now. That reasoning. I see her everywhere. I see her in the mirror. I look like her, it's weird. Or in shop cues, that's her hairstyle. And the way she puts messages in the bag the way she swings her head around, except it's not. Or in the car. In the rear mirror, every time I see a small Opel Corsa two cars back, I can't make out who's driving, so for a brief moment, it's her. And I'm in the back. We're going somewhere nice. And then someone beeps, and I've held everyone up. So I drive on, and she's gone. Do you think you like familiar routines because you don't want to experience loss again? Yeah, 
obviously. What would you do, say, if the, the coffee girl relocated? I'd probably lose my shit. I, uh, had a bad reaction to something last week. Not the coffee. I've actually never had it there. I just remembered because I see the coffee girl again on my way home. Then me again. And then I go to the cafe and I see her. You're no, just a woman. She's there every Thursday on her own. But last week she was chatting to a friend. I didn't mean to listen, but they didn't whisper low enough. She looked worried, so that caught my eye. She started talking about her husband. He was married before, but his wife died. And now, every year around her anniversary, he sees her. In the graveyard, he said he saw her in a fruit and veg shop one time. Just a flash, like he blinked and she was gone. And the woman said she knows it's just his grief and she really feels for him but that as the years have gone on and they've built their own life together, it's only getting worse. Last year, he said he saw her in their garden pulling at the soil. She was telling her friend she wants him to speak to someone about it, but he won't. Then the last night, he went in to check on their daughter, and as he opened the door, he saw her lying on the side of the little girl's bed, stroking her hair as she slept. Her friend looked as worried as she was by now, saying how it's putting a strain on their relationship and that she'd worry about leaving him alone with the little one. And all I could do was feel relieved. Isn't that awful? I was so relieved to hear that I'm not the only one. To know that someone else understands the pain of losing someone, that you start to see them everywhere you go. Isn't that bad? Why, why is that bad? Because it's like I'm happy that someone else is hurting too. It makes me feel more normal. That's a very normal human emotion. Imagine you'd never had ice cream in your whole life. Okay? And everybody's always talking about how great ice cream is. You know, and you're getting angry and frustrated because you've never had it. But one day you meet someone and they've also never had ice cream in their whole life. And you feel relieved that you're not the only one. And somebody finally understands how you feel. Make sense? You're not a bad person, Rona, for wanting people to understand how you feel. Can you say that for me? I am not a bad person. I am not a bad person. Okay. Good. So, what? I guess I just continue living this weird, subdued life. Mm. 
being a bit quiet and a bit sad. I'm okay with it. I like it. Means I can just be myself. I don't socialize much. Maybe I could find a hobby or something. Watch a bit less TV. Too much is probably bad for me anyway. I know I'm not in some cartoon where it turns out she's not dead and I actually am seeing her everywhere. Like Sideshow Bob or Krusty the Clown. I just miss her. And she'll never go away. I hope that poor man knows that too.